No, now, after the service uh, section is a Pyongyang Revival. Where is the Pyongyang? Anybody, anybody knows? Korea, Korea, capital North Korea. Yeah, anybody want to go there? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I can get a visa, you know. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Do you want to marry the North Korean woman? Nah, South Korean woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you look at the page number five? Yeah, page number five. The Pyongyang Revival was Great Pyongyang Revival of 1907. Why you put the great? Yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> great, yeah. Yeah, <coughs> thank you. Great Revival was a Protestant revival that occurred in the around the city of Pyongyang. What is it today? The capital of North Korea. The key figure of moment uh, movement is the often seen um, Kim Sung Ju or Kim Sung Ju, one of the first Korean pres uh, Protestant ordained as a Presbyterian minister. And then R. A. Hardy, a Canadian um, um, physician and a Methodist missionary who permanently, uh, permanently worked uh, in uh, one son was also inspiration for the uh, movement. There's a one son revival actually in 1903 and then um, 1907 there is a great, uh, great revival in uh, actually it's the second of I think second of January 2nd of January 1907, this um, pastor, Canadian missionary, <coughs> passionate, uh, missionary Hardy, he shared the word of the law. When he shared the word of the law, do you know what he say? He say, I'm a missionary in Korea, yeah. and then... Yeah. Sorry, we don't know where we are. And he say, uh, he say, uh, I'm neglect. I, I'm so sorry because of, uh, he came from Canada. He look at the uh, Koreans as you, uh, you know, like all low class people. They are not nearly proper people. And then you know, he was so superior, superior. Uh, how can I? Superior. And I mean, you are uh, you are a low class, and uh, I'm high class. You know. <laughs> superior. <laughs> what is the opposite superior? Inferior. Inferior, yeah. Do you know you live in that kind of a class? I'm the high class, superior, you know, this kind of mentality. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit convinced him. And you know what he did? He said, I'm so sorry, I repent my sins. He repented his sins in front of all Korean Christians, around the 1,500 people gathering together in 1907. When he repented his sins, yeah, and then that time the Kirsonju, can you underline the Kirsonju? There is another, yeah, you can see that, yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's a first, first, uh, uh, first uh, minister in South, in Korea, Korean church history, he's a minister. Kirsonju, do you know what he did? Kirsonju, he's a minister in the church, he's cheating. Do you know how he's cheating? One of the elders in the church and died. When elder died, uh, all you know, this elder before he died, he gave him uh, some amount of money for pastor. Do you know what elder say when I die? Because uh, you know the elder is very tri uh, cri critically uh, sick, and give this he gave him money to pastor. Please look after my wife and my children with this money. What was happening? This pastor killed Sun Jun. He didn't give the full amount of money for the family. He's, he's cheating something. And then when the pastor hardly repented sins, he say publicly, I'm a terrible sinner. The elder left the money. He took the money. Yeah. Oh. I mean, he didn't pay back to his wife and the, the elder's yeah. wife and children poorly, but take some. And then he announced, I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible sinner. He repented his sins publicly in the eyes of the law. I think it's a publicly repent sins is a great uh, you know transformation actually if you repent your sins publicly and um, you accept the Lord Jesus publicly even accept the Lord Jesus publicly and repent your sins even publicly and then 
the, the revival break out. The amazing uh, revival coming in 1907. Look at history. Period uh, or to 1907, there were a series of local revival in Korea. For instance, in 1903, due to famine in the center of the country, two local revivals were experienced, experienced in a Presbyterian church near Seoul and in a Methodist church in Wonsan. Can you underline Methodist church in Wonsan? <coughs> there is a first revival actually. This would be followed by the series of a revival almost all, all, all among the Methodists in 1904-1905 and Pres Presbyterians in 1906. However, in fall of 1906, Korean Christians began hearing reported about the Wales Revival, 1902-1905. Can you underline Wales Revival, 1904-1905? Uh, when you're studying the church history, we're going to study the Welsh Revival, John Wesley's Revival. We're going to study the Revival history. It's very interesting. Do you know in Welsh Revival, October 1904 to March 1905, within six months, do you know how many people came to Lord Jesus? Have you heard about them? 200,000. 200,000 people come to Lord Jesus in UK. In Wales, around 100,000. Who was a prayer like that? Evan Nobot. Evan Nobot, uh, he was 11. He was 11, this young boy. He, he was a tall boy in the, in the, in the, in the mine, a coal mine, under the over 150 feet in down, down there, under the ground. You know, he opened the door and closed the door all day long. He was 11. His father was a coal miner. And coal miner is this brother also this so poor. Where is the most poorest area in UK right now? There is a Wales, England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Among the two poor area, which areas are still poor? Can you? What? Wales. Wales is uh, still poor. And then can you imagine even history at the time is so poor. And then you know. This man, Evan Lombard, he was praying to the Lord. He actually, he prayed 100 souls come to Lord Jesus. But God answered him double. When he was uh, 27, you know, the revival start. Within six months, he shared in 1904, in October, uh, last Sunday of service, he shared the word of the Lord. And then God opened the gate of heaven. And the Spirit of God come upon the people in UK. Do you know how the revival <coughs> the revival start from the church, yeah. But when people working around the church, do you know what was happening? People get some desire to repent their sins outside of the church. People they kneel down. Do you know how many people pray outside the church? Over a thousand. <laughs> Over a thousand people, they cry out. They ask for forgiveness. It's an amazing revival. Look, where's the revival 1904 to 1905? Uh, uh, Kashyas Hill revival in India. Where is India? Uh, 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 Kashyas here. Do you know where is it? In India, there's an Indian Indian revival, oh. 1905 to 1906. Actually, this revival come from Wales revival. Oh. To go to India, to go to Los Angeles, Ajusa Street revival, and go to Korea as well. And reportedly had a great desire to have the same blessing. Can you underline the great desire to have the same blessing? They had this longing to see this great uh, revival. What does it mean a revival? Ali of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. This is the sort of festival in uh, the mountains. Yeah. Yes, the same thing. The same. I, I think the same thing. Uh, all about the festival. The in summer, in July, the, the, the festival even in the mountain, on the mountain, close to here, where we pray. The we Lord pray, that's not okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think we saw the revival of our Brother Jin last night. He was crying, and then Michael, I said, cry out, Jesus. 
Jesus. <laughs> well, then he cried out, Jesus, and then, hallelujah, and then he prayed last night. Yeah. Is that is that wake up again? Yeah, wake up, yeah. They actually Lee. Lee means uh, again, yeah. Revival. Do you know actually the uh, real meaning of revival, yeah? When God made a human being, yeah, he made us in what? In in his image. Yeah? Yeah. When God made us, uh, he made us in his image, yeah. But do you have an image of God now? Yeah, yeah, you have now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know you, you have an image of God now? You know, unfortunately, many, many people lost the image of God. You know, a few days ago, two, three days ago, bro, Mr. Michael, I didn't see the image of God. I saw the image of a devil. And then now I can see the image of God. Can you see? <laughs> Do you understand? If you look at this uh, old picture, it uh, look like terrible criminal. You know? <laughs> <laughs> look like killed uh, ten people. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Michael, Michael, some Michael, can you hear me? Somebody came to me. Did Michael kill the ten people? <laughs> and then you know, the Bible means you your life at least tall, and then you discover the image of God. When you get the image of God, there's a revival. Church needs a revival. Yeah? Whole human being needs a revival. You need a revival daily. That is a revival. It's a full of Jesus. Full of Jesus. Yeah? The great desire to have the same blessing. I think a few days ago, the, my brother Thomas asked the mommy, I want to get a more of Jesus. Yeah? That is a revival. That is a revival. Or let the revival start, actually. Somebody come to a mommy, I need more of Jesus, and with the tears, eh? Or let the revival start. Do you understand? Revival start. I was, I was in Curry last night, I was praying, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. Yeah. In January 1907, across two weeks, the Presbyterian Seminary in Pyongyang held a Bible conference about 1,500 Korean men. At the conference, uh, through the dynamic preaching of uh, Kim Sun Ju and he personally confessed of sin, I already told you, hundred others followed in public repentance. This would continue through a series of revival meetings in Pyongyang and other nearby cities which eventually uh, subsided in the spring of 1907 due to Kiel's uh, exhaustion of, uh, from these meetings. Amazing revival break up. You know, <coughs> someone repented of sins. Revival started from me, from you, actually. Do you want to see the revival in your household? You need to repent your sins first. Don't tell your wife and your husband and your children, repent your sins. You repent first and the revival start. The Pengyang revival resulted in the increase in the number of new Christian converts and a growing establishment of Korean Christians, Christianity led by Korean Christian. It also introduced by aspect of Korean Christian spiritually such as early morning prayer and all night prayer. You know, in Korea, early morning prayer is uh, common. Most of the churches we have the early morning prayer meeting. In one Korean church, they have the four services in early morning prayer meeting. Four services. Do you know what time? Four o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock. Six o'clock. Seven o'clock. And the CNN come, then they, 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 uh, they recording and they interview in the live. How do Korean Christians come? Early in the morning. We have the early morning prayer meeting. You know, I, I came here, um, you know, every day. Monday to Friday uh, by 6 o'clock morning. Yesterday I left at 5.20 yesterday morning. And I arrived my home, guess what time I arrived? 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock? After midnight. <laughs> After midnight, can you imagine? Yeah. Which means... Uh, I, I can't imagine. 
<laughs> I think it's a is a uh, is a privilege actually. You know, no one want to live in that kind of life. You know, they want to relax and then. But you know, God gave me this. It's a privilege actually to serving Jesus. I talked with this man Michael over ten hours yesterday. Do you know that? Over ten hours, eating together, swimming together, in the gym is together, and then you know, it's all together for ten hours. What did he do? What did I say to you? You forget? Preach the gospel together. Give the leaflet. Preach the gospel together. With thanks be to God. Continually. Yeah. I think this is a miracle as I told you earlier. You know, somebody stay on the street for a long time, they don't sit on the chair for a long time. It's a miracle. You know, almost four hours you sit on the chair is a miracle. Can you give the big cloud offering for <laughs> Michael? Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. You know, this kind of a training, this is a kind of training to sit down on the chair for four hours, five hours and studying the Word of God is well done, well done. <laughs> okay. I'm just looking, right, do you know what, like, Tunisia is bigger than the United Kingdom. Okay. Tunisia, what have they ever given in Spanish? We're going to send you to Tunisia as a missionary, okay. Oh, we've been there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <coughs> yeah, Pyongyang. Yeah. Can I look and um, you can see it. Now, Pyongyang Great Revival, and uh, actually this is uh, written by on the la last page. You can see the Matthew uh, Backholder, Holler, Backholder, Mr. M Matthew Backholder. Write down is quite a good article, and then I put in here. On 2nd uh, September 1866, Reverend Robert Germain Thomas, uh, the first uh, Protestant missionary to Korea, was uh, martyred along the revival bank, uh, uh, sorry, river bank outside of Pyongyang. Two decades later, in 1886, the first Protestant Korean was uh, baptized. The Korean saw its first revival in 1903. It was known as the One Sun Revival Movement, and both the Presbyterians and Methodists uh, left the large harvest as they were united to exalt Jesus Christ. Just to let you know, in the beginning, Presbyterian Church and Methodist Church, no Baptist, no Pentecost, no Church of England, no Salvation Army in Korea. In the beginning, <coughs> two missionaries. Uh, uh, organization coming, Presbyterian and Methodist Missionary Organization from America and Canada. Canada. Yeah. Which means things are different between, for example, Presbyterians, our church, or Christian, okay. or and so on. Okay. <coughs> Do you know the we call the uh, Roman Catholic, Roman Catholic, and then is only one Christianity until 16th century. You know the Lip uh, Reformation, yes, uh, and the Ma like, uh, <coughs> 1577. Do you know Martin Luther, uh, and then uh, that's right. Yeah, oh, this is in the in uh, in in Germany. Yeah, and Martin Luther, uh, John Calvin, Martin Luther, John Calvin, and uh, Chivingly. And then John Knox, all these people, they are uh, revivalists. And the Roman Catholic actually split. Yes. We call the Protestant. Yes. Protestant uh, start by this reformer. Yes. You know, Martin Luther is a German guy. John, John Calvin, John Calvin, French guy. And uh, Chibingli is a Switzerland guy, Swiss guy, Switzerland. And uh, John Knox from Scotland. This is the main. Uh, main, you need to turn off, turn off, yeah, okay, Jesus call you, okay, <laughs> <laughs> well brother, yeah, yeah. and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay, 
know, you know, Presbyterian, Presbyterian uh, by the John Calvin. You know, Calvin is the John Calvin. Methodists come from the UK by the John Wesley. Salvation Army come from where? UK, United Kingdom. Church of England come from where? United Kingdom. Can you imagine many, many uh, denominations start from United Kingdom? Salvation Army, Methodist Church, you know, uh, Church of England, even God used the Britain actually mightily actually. God used the this nation and s trained the many missionaries from here to go to all over the world. Mm -hmm. That is why we are studying the uh, Hudson Taylor, uh, William Carey, and David Livingstone. Oh, yeah. We are studying together. Yeah, David Livingstone is uh, uh, Scottish. Okay. We are studying together. One guy from Wales. He's a Wales man, Robert Thomas. Is a Wales man. He died in Korea. You see, one from Scotland, one from England, but two from England, one from Wales. God used this nation. Thanks be to God. Yeah. And uh, anyway, can you look at your note, and um, you can see the where you are now. Yeah. Okay. In 1907, the Korean Church the Presbyterian was to become independent of its American board of a foreign mission, which had been practically self-supporting for several years. In August 1906, Pyongyang missionaries met for a week of Bible study and prayer. They invited uh, Dr. Arley Hardy to lead them with public, com public compassion. Dependence in one son in 1903 was the beginning of the one son revival movement 1903 to 1906. which is so around uh, uh, 30,000 of profession of faith. Can you underline 30,000 of profession of faith is a great, great revival in one son. The textbook of the meeting was the first uh, epistle of John. The Apostle John wrote that everything dependent, uh, dependent upon the fellowship with God and drive on fellowship um, divine fellowship was uh, conditional upon love and righteousness. The missionaries uh, poured out their heart before him and searched uh, their own heart while seeking to meet uh, uh, conditions. Before the meeting had uh, uh, ended, the Spirit uh, showed uh, those uh, present that the way of uh, victory uh, is the way of confession and of a broken heart and bitter tears. Can you underline? The way of compassion and broken heart and bitter tears. I understand way of compassion and broken heart. How about the tears? How often you, you know, <laughs> tears come out? Yeah. Last night I, I did. I was praying for Thomas. Thomas. It's tears. Yeah. It's amazing. And it is, I saw the revival actually. It's amazing. It's, I didn't like that. Well, tears coming to my heart. And uh, your tears. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. I still remember on the mountain, strong, yeah. strong wind and very cold last <laughs> night, but tears. <laughs> and then um, that is a wonderful revival. You know, if you have the spirit of compassion and a broken heart, this is uh, a preparation for revival, broken spirit. God never rejected a broken heart, broken spirit. Yeah? And then they decided to pray for great blessing, revival among their Korean brethren and especially among the uh, annual Pyongyang Bible study uh, classes for men which would take place in January 1907. They left those August meeting and realizing as never before that uh, nothing but the baptism of the God's spirit in mighty power could fit us and our Korean brethren for uh, trying days ahead. 
they knew that the Korean church needed to repent of uh, hating the uh, Japanese. Can you underline? Korean churches need to repent of hating the Japanese. I already told you about the history. Eh? Japanese uh, you know, damaged Korea. Therefore, Korean churches hate Japanese. <coughs> then they need to repent of the sins also. And need a clear vision of all sins against the God. Because many had professed Christ as their Savior without great sorrow for sin because of, of his uh, familiarity. Can you write down on the line, without great sorrow for sin? If you have the great sorrow for your sin, I think there is a revival. Can I say another word? If you magnify your sins, if you magnify your sins in the eyes of God, that is a preparation of your heart to receive the revival. Do you understand? Small sin is, uh, if you say, oh, it's okay, this small sin. No. If you see the small sin, you can say to God, Oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible sinner. You can magnify your sin in the eyes of the Lord. That is a great revival. Small sin is a still sin. You know that, yeah? Oh God, forgive my sins. I repent my sins. Small, you know, like the sin in the eyes of the Lord. You magnify your sins. And the revival comes down. Yeah? Unfortunately, people, they don't even recognize their sins. They do whatever they like. That is the main problem in, in, in this world now. If you know the so small sins, oh God, forgive my sins. Uh, I'm a terrible sinner. Can you forgive me? Can you cleanse me? Deliver me from these uh, terrible sins. And then uh, God will forgive all your sins. Yeah. When you ask me something about the thing, it's, it's nothing wrong. It's okay. You can beat it and uh, sing in worshiping God. Even they want to know about the uh, visit to uh, you know his father so tomb you know today's three months yeah, yeah monday. the monday three months and then it's okay to visit the uh, tomb and then read the bible meditate and then worshiping god you know even today i go to the new mode and attended the uh, brother daniel daniel was uh, 17 he went to heaven last year and then he was a six when he was six. He came to our church, and then he died. And then th today is his birthday, <laughs> and then all the family and friends they gathering together celebrate the life of the Daniel. And after one year, it's nothing long to you know. We don't pray to him. You pray to God for all the family. Oh God, if any of the family not believe in the Lord Jesus through this fellowship, they can give their life to Jesus. This is to the main purpose. Yeah. They are Indian, right? Yeah. They are Indian. Uh, no, they are Sri Lankans. Yeah. <coughs> you don't need to worship the dead man and dead woman. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the Roman Catholic they pray, they pray to God for dead man to go to heaven. Or <laughs> do you know? Have you heard about that kind of prayer? Yeah. They're totally wrong against the word of God against the word of God. And the Jews as well, they pray to the dead. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The, the rabbis. That's right, yeah. This is the main problem is uh, if you go to Israel, you go, you see the, the tomb of David. Yeah? <laughs> you see the tomb of Samuel. But they pray to dead men. They pray in front of dead men, David, King David, dead men, Samuel. They, you know, have you seen that? Yeah? If, you, if you go to Israel, you can see the, these Jewish people, they, they stand in front of a tomb and they shake their hand, they, like they pray and they pray. You know what I pray? Oh God, touch them, save them. You know, when I go to Western world, whirling world in Jerusalem, people, hundred thousand people, they pray in front of the whirling world like this. But my prayer, oh God, save them, save them. Do you know that the God hear our prayer, many, many Orthodox Jews become a born again? through visions, <coughs> yeah? You know, on the world, the Jesus, the Messiah, the Yeshua Hamashah uh, come, come by vision, and then they, their uh, hand of Jesus touch their here, head, and they open their eyes. Oh, Jesus is the Messiah. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard about that? No. Yeah, I, 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 I know. Many testimonies, actually. Many testimonies. Yeah. Bow down, bow down your head, bow down your head. Yeah, because of... Uh, 
No bow down before me. <laughs> bow down before camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Look, they need to know about uh, their sin. They have great uh, sorrow for sin. In September 1906, Dr. Howard uh, Johnston, John, uh, Johnston of New York, while in Seoul, informed a group of missionaries and Korean Christian and, and about the uh, uh, Karachi Hills revival in India. And Jonathan Gofford, a missionary to China, and um, Manchuri write that uh, because of this more than 20 missionaries from Pyongyang Presbyterian and Methodist missions resolved to meet together to pray daily for great blessings. Can you underline pray daily for great blessings? The, I think you and I need the great blessings. <coughs> You know, if you receive the great blessings, your life uh, no more same again. You know, your life completely transformed. You need uh, uh, great uh, blessings, yeah, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, <coughs> every area. The uh, Bible uh, corporate uh, from uh, Kenkal, Kenkal Church along the Yalu River, over 250 believers were also in Seoul. He heard Dr. Johnston and encouraged his church to meet for prayer at 5 a.m. through the autumn and winter, 1906 to 1907. For six months, they prayed until the Holy Spirit came as a flood. Can you underline? For six months, they prayed until the Holy Spirit came as a flood. They prayed and prayed, and God opened the door. Thanks be to God. The Pyongyang general class of 1,000 began on the 2nd January 1907. Can you underline? Uh, began on 2nd January 1907. That is a revival day. It would last for two weeks and, and representatives came from as far as away on the 100 miles. The evening meeting began on Saturday and 6th and the 1,500 attendants, missionaries. <coughs> William Newton Blair uh, preached on the 1st Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27. And I can read it for you. 1st Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27. The Bible says, now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Yeah, you are the body of Christ, each one of you are part of it. And member of the body of Christ, and they exhorted the one, those who present to get right with one another. And discord in church was like a sickness in the body. After the sermon, a number with the sorrow confessed their lack of love for others. Can you underline and uh, get right with one another? Yeah, you have to get right with one another. Uh, Brother Daniel, Brother Michael, and then Brother Jean and Edward, you have got right with one another? Get right with one another. I mean, right relationship to each other. Yeah? Not hatred, not hatred, anger, or resentment, or not kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a God use him to train you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Praise God. And after the sermon and then the people are sort of confess their lack of love for others. Can you underline <coughs> um and sort of confess their lack of love for others? I think we didn't love one another, that's a sin. Especially for Japanese, many said testified to new realization of what sin was. The Sunday meeting was dead, but on Monday the missionary met and cried out to God in earnest. They were bound in spirit and refused to let go till the, he blessed them. As the people entered the church at 7 p.m., God's presence was felt. Can you underline? 
As the people enter the church at 7 p.m., God's presence was felt. You know, this is what I'm looking for. Any Christian, they come to our church tomorrow, 2 o'clock, they fail. Even any time, actually. Any time people, they come to the house of the Lord, fail with the presence of God. If you feel with the presence of God, what's going to happen? You repent your sins easily. You repent your sins automatically, willingly. Yeah. And their Sunday meeting was dead. Yeah, I can see that. After the short summer, missionary Graham Lee uh, led the meeting in prayer, and soon the whole audience began to pray out loud together. Pray out loud, loud together. Can you underline? Pray out loud together. Korean style prayer is a loud <laughs> cry out. Cry out prayer is a powerful. You know, is why we go to the mountain? We want to cry out. Cry out. In here, in London, if you cry out, is a people complain. And you can cry out on the mountain. Yeah. Jonathan Gofford, missionary to China, um, eventually visited to eight chief mission centers uh, centers in Korea for three weeks during June 1907. He st uh, stated that Elder Kill of Center, Central Presbyterian Church was a uh, catalyst of uh, revival when he com confessed his sin of uh, Akan. Do you know Akan? Do anybody know Akan? Joshua chapter 7 verse 1, Akan and chapter 20, uh, chapter 7 verse 7 verse Akan is the one to hiding some things. Do you know Joshua and army, and yeah, Joshua army cannot attack the eye. Eye is a very small city, much smaller than the Jeribo, but they cannot overcome. Why? Because of this man. Among the, this Israelite, yeah, one man, yeah, disobey God, keep the, some idols. And then they, they, they cast a lot. And then, you know, this man is a cast. And then, do you know what happened? Every Israel people, they killed this him and his wife and children. And then, the curse gone away. Therefore, <coughs> as you live together in harmony and unity, if somebody commits a sin, all problem together. Do you understand? If you, we are group in family, yeah? Somebody committed the sins. Because of that person, everybody suffering together. Yes, yes, but it's always so in every yeah. situation. Yeah. It's not only for our yeah. congregation. Yeah, everybody suffering because of that person, somebody. You know, I was praying and praying, oh God, you know, you go to Israel, you know, seven people, in the beginning, six people, yeah? yeah. And uh, seven people, eight people, nine people now. Oh. Nine is a uh, pastor Nadia say no maximum eight. <coughs> oh, I say can I hide in the whole? Uh, hide hiding the another car, small car. Even a small car is expensive per day. It's the cheapest of fifty three pound per day. Do you know mini bus? Do you know how much they charge? Two hundred twenty pound per day. Two hundred. Do you know minimum two one thousand two hundred pound per only hiding the mini bus for nine. No driver. And then plus the petrol, and you know, easily you spend the one thousand five hundred even to the And then I was praying and praying and praying. Lord, I don't want to disturbing by you know, hiding the car, all these things. And then thanks be to God, I I ask I beg the one lady, if you don't mind please uh, you can go to Israel next year together with us. I'm so sorry. I ask for even forgiveness also. And then she accepted, and then I praise God. You know, now it's more peaceful. You know, one one man's sin is everybody's struggle. How many experience? One man's sin, everybody's struggle. Even your family, one one boy or girl or your family, one is uh, not doing well. Everybody's suffering, you know. Everybody. Do you understand? That is why we are one body. For example, it is finger pain. Right hand and the right leg, everybody say to him, you need to chop this finger and send to hospital. Can you speak like that? No. Because this finger pain, right arm, everybody go to hospital together. <laughs> because of this finger. Do you understand? 
Therefore, you know, brother Michael, your problem is my problem, brother. Your joy is my joy. Do you know that? Yeah? Your blessing is my blessing. Do you, do you understand? Follow Jesus all the days of your life. Yeah? Did you touch the cigarette today? Okay. Never touch it anymore. Amen. Okay. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Do you know, like it is sin of Akan. And in front of 1,000 people, this man is actually elder was he's a pastor, gives some Jew. He repented the sins in front of all people. He was later known as the level of the son Jew kill, kill son Jew. He had a promise a dying man to look after his uh, estate because of his wife and was unable to. But in the process, he had uh, taken $100 for himself. I didn't know how much now in the one and done for himself. After confessing his this sin, he returned the money to widow the following day. He repented the sins. Soon the prayer returned the uh, turning to weeping, grimly right man after man would rise and confess his sins, break down and weep, and then throw himself to the floor and you know, beat the floor with his uh, fist and the perfect, uh, perfect agony of a conviction. The meeting went uh, on, on 2 a.m. on Tuesday afternoon. The whole community assembled to give thanks to God. The perverse of night, uh, Elder Kang Yun Moon of the Central Church confessed his uh, hatred of uh, Elder Kim, who was uh, William Newton Blair, the assistant in the Pyongyang uh, Church. Elder uh, Kim, who was uh, Elder Kim, who was uh, uh, sat silent. At the noon prayer meeting on Tuesday, they prayed for Elder Kim. In the evening meeting, Elder Kim stood behind the pulpit and confessed his uh, hatred not only Elder Kang, but also William Blair himself, and asked for Blair's uh, forgiveness. William Blair began to pray, Father, Father and got no further. William Blair White. It seems as I, yeah, if he, the loot was lifted up from um, the building and the Spirit of God came down from heaven in a mighty uh, avalanche of power upon us. William Blair fell at Elder Kim's side and wept and prayed as never before. Some prost uh, prostrated themselves before the Lord while the hundred stood with arms outstretched toward heaven. The cry went over the city until the hatred were in uh, consternation. The missionaries had prayed for an outpouring of a spirit, and it had come. <coughs> Korea would never ever be the same again after prayer. You know, there's a Pyongyang in the open market open on Sunday. <clears throat> Do you know why they open on Sunday? Normally they could, you know, they open on Sunday after the Sunday service. Uh, they say, I cheating you guys on last Friday, <laughs> last Thursday. <laughs> because, uh, do you know, they did how they cheating? They should uh, give the one kilo of rice, for example. They give only nine, 90, uh, nine, you know, 90 kilos, something like that. They cheating. And they say, here you are, take it, take it. Mm -hmm. Do you know? They are not just only say dependent sins, they practically, practically, they give and then bless others. It's an amazing transformation. Transformation. You know, if you see the revival, there is an amazing transformation. I, I, I'm seeing <coughs> even in a few uh, amount of pastors are sinners. I saw before, I, I'm amazed about this. <coughs> I'm amazed about this because I saw they are start of perfection. Yeah. Can I encourage you? Revival start from our church. Can you say amen? amen. amen. Brother Daniel, Michael, Edward, and Jean, you are five in our church now, staying here. Revival start from here. Can you say amen? amen? When you see the revival in our church, the revival spirit take control this area. Can you imagine all different background? 16 years old man from boy South Korea, Englishman. 
Italian man. Do you know, do you know, I don't want to mention the brother Michael's uh, background. He's a, he's, a, he's a criminal thing. So it's terrible, terrible. No one wants to close to him. Everybody run away from you. You know that. But I come to you. We welcome you. Why? Because of love of Jesus. I took him to the police station yesterday. I need to find out what kind of sin he has got. <laughs> do you know, I, I was a detective. I know. You know, for my protection, for protecting all our congregation, yeah, I took even it. He, yeah. Even him, he uh, could be uh, get in uh, cut judgment. Cut yeah, preach sentence, yeah. But, you know, this. You preach the gospel. Uh, what did he say? Eight and he said two judgments. No, um, he was um, a worry for the art. He had to report to the police. Uh, he was a communist. Yeah. Uh, he had to. <coughs> yeah, because of uh, his conviction, when you move into another area, yeah, yeah and the police need to know, yeah. and then, and then, uh, just to let you know, police uh, want to see him in our in our church, and they want to see how he sleep and these things. So they will come to church and be. Yeah, they will. Yeah. The Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <Okay. Yeah>. <coughs> <coughs> Now we're gonna, uh, they're gonna call me and then make an appointment when the police come and then I love to invite you yeah, and you can preach the gospel. Um, some lady, the woman, police woman, police woman will come uh, to see. <coughs> Revival is not very far away. Revival is within us. Can you see? <coughs> yeah. William Newton Blair wrote, every sin a human being can commit to was uh, publicly confessed that night. Can you underline? <coughs> I think if you confess your sins publicly, <coughs> this is amazing deliverance, amazing uh, revival. <coughs> Sorry. Pale and then trembling with emotion and agony of mind and body, guilty souls are standing in the white light of that uh, judgment saw themselves as God saw them. Their sins rose up in their their violence till shame and grief and self looting look took complete possession. Pride was driven out, the face of men forgotten, looking looking up to heaven, to Jesus uh, whom they had uh, betrayed. They removed so uh, smother themselves and they cried out with a bitter willy, Lord, Lord, cast us not away forever. This kind of prayer. Yeah. Can you underline, Lord, Lord, cast us not away forever. That kind of uh, prayer. <coughs> okay. Mr. Swallon was one of the more than 20 missionaries in Pyongyang. He said he paid well to have spent several months in prayer. But when God the Holy Spirit came, he accomplished, accomplished more in half a day than all of us missionaries could have accomplished in half a year. In less than two months, more than 2,000 had in the world converted. <coughs> Can you underline less than two months, more than 2,000 people give their life to Jesus? That's a miracle. Jordan Agapur wrote, It is uh, always uh, so as soon as God gets the first place, but as you rule the church which pro profess to be Christ, will not case cease uh, her vision loud, uh, loud of her activities and give God a chance by waiting upon Him in prayer. God is unchanging and has promised to our, our pour out of blood on the dry ground and uh, quench him who is uh, thirsty. But have we asked, plead, and humbled ourselves before Almighty God? <coughs> I think this uh, revival, you know, fires and awakening 150 years of revival, this is a very good material, and I share with you, um, uh, written by the Matthew. Uh, back holder. I think this is a, a Pyongyang revival. Do you have any question, any comment? Could I ask you, Roger, say revival comes, is it 
only by one Christian to <coughs> another, or can revival come to a whole city, mm. to people where there's no no faith or anything? You know, does it necess- is there a need for a Christian to be for the to bring the presence of the Holy Spirit, yeah. or will it just fall yeah. on everybody? The revival, if you look at the revival history, revival is, is a depend on the Christian, mm. not non Christian. Okay. Revival is not depend on the politician, not depend on non Christian, not depend on the alcohol, drug, and no, no. Revival depend on the Christian. Mm. You know, God, let's say, the, you know, in here, yeah, is a, this is, a, is in heaven now, yeah? In heaven, there's a revival in heaven. He want to pour out the revival somewhere, but pl- problem was the people not lis- not ready to receive the revival, and then Pyongyang revival people they repent the sins willingly. Oh, of course, mean. Pyongyang revival in North Korea people they prepare their heart, oh. they to confess their sins and the revival come, and then the, this revival spread all over the city, all the nation actually. This revival Pyongyang, yeah, go to all over South and North, everywhere. And always through the church. All the church, yeah. Do you know, revival, uh, let's say, as I told you, in if you go to the Wales near the Swansea, there is a Moriah Chapel. Mm, Have you been to Moriah yeah. Chapel? Do you know Moriah Chapel, how many people get inside? Guess how many? It wasn't big. No. Maximum 400. You just stand it, 400. But revival time, do you know how many people are outside the churches? Uh, over a thousand. Over a thousand. A thousand is quite a big number. Mm. They repent the sins outside of uh, the church. They don't have uh, space to go inside yeah. and they repent. The they, they kneel down on the street. Mm. They pray. But do you know the revival, yeah? The revival start through the church, start through the believer. If I say revival, you know, there's a, <coughs> in even certain, many churches in certain, perhaps certain Baptist church, Methodist church, Church of England, all the Pentecost, many churches, yeah? Do you know, like a revival link, yeah? Mm. Revival station, all over in London, in UK. And then the spark from one church. And then there's a connection. Then there are another, these are another churches all over, all over, all over. The, the United Kingdom, and then through the churches, do you know if you ask you if you ask you the if you ask you the, the non-believer can you repent your sins? Very rare to repent your sins, but in the church can you repent your sins? It's more easy. Do you know why I say this? Uh, a publisher came to us and then training in, in the Bible College. This is a miracle. We didn't we didn't we didn't met him in the church. We met him where? In the hostel. In the hostel. <laughs> you know, we met one brother in the hostel, and then he come and then uh, studying and the word of the Lord and the revivalist. This is a miracle. Mm-hmm. You know, in the church, it's more easy to recruit the people, yeah, because of they claim that they come to church. But outside, even the other man over there, we met him not in the church. We met him where, in Michael? The street, the in the street. You know, among the many Jewish people, we preach the gospel, Jewish people, but very strange men stand. <laughs> and we, we, we brought him. Do you understand? This is, a, this is a revival. You know, I, I believe that now you catch the revival, you know, you know, this is prayer, the gospel for all of us. Yeah. And then I think thank you for your good question. And, and so, because that brings me to the, the book of Joel, you know, where it's, and mm. in Acts 2, mm. where it's, the Lord says, I will pour out my spirit on Every all flesh. <coughs> I always wondered, is that going to come all at once, or is it only through the church? Yeah, yeah. you know, through the church, but uh, late raining. Do you know, late uh, raining will come before second coming of Lord Jesus. Great later harvest. Later what will come? Later, later, later rain. Later, you know, the latter oh, time, the latter oh, rain. Right. Yeah. Later raining, which is a great revival will come in all of the world. And then people will say in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, everywhere, or oh, we repent the sins, or oh, we can see the great uh, in the harvest. Not just uh, one thousand, two thousand, it's like millions, millions come to Lord Jesus. This is going to happen. 
and then um, there's a true revival. That is all we, we keep on praying. You know, when you pray to God for revival, oh God, when, when we see the revival, true revival, we love to see the revival. We heard about the revival through the history, but how about now? I'd be honest with you, I saw the revival on, on when, did you, when did you see, on Thursday, we, 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 we saw the revival in, in the street on Thursday in Golden Spring. Did you see the revival? I can see the revival. That man come with us is a revival. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Did you see the revival in Plymouth oh, in January? Eh? Mm. This is a revival. Mm. You know, revival is, uh, of course, is uh, publicly millions and millions of people touched by the Holy Spirit. That is, uh, we love to see the great revival. But re individual, mm. individual. Is, uh, he catch the revival fire. Michael, you catch the revival fire. All of you, you catch the revival. Last night, Brother Thomas, he catches the revival fire. Everybody, everybody. And um, but le le let's see, but we'll, we'll, we are thirsty. Uh, we, are, we are hungry for revival. We love to see the great revival. You know, yeah. Repentance, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah, you know, did you hear what you say? Every revival place, yeah, there is a repentance. And the prayer. Yeah. Prayer and repentance. Yes. Repentance prayer is uh, like the um, repent yeah. in, in prayer. Yeah. You pray out to Allah. Okay. Pray. 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 Well, the, at the before we close, uh, and if you look at the book of Acts, you know, I can say there is a great revival in the world. You can see the prayer of repentance and the word of God. These two things. <coughs> Look at the Acts chapter 1. Do you know, every revival place, there is a pool of word of God. When the word of God come down, then the great revival come down. And um, if, you, if you look at the chapter 2, verse 14, Chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, verse 14. Peter stood up with the uh, eleven raised with his voice, addressed the crowd. Follow Jews, all of you who live in Jerusalem. Let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. <coughs> and he preached the gospel. You see? Mr. Peter, he was an apostle, he preached the gospel. And then can you look at the, the chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, verse 30, <coughs> 37. When people, when the people heard this, what's this? The word. word of God. He preaching from verse, verse 16 to 36. This is the word of God. And when people hear the word of God, they were cut to the heart, you see? Cut to the heart. What does it mean, cut to the heart? Convicted. Convicted. Mm. Convict, conviction. And then they respond, Peter and other apostles, Brothers, what shall you do? You see? The revival come through the prayer. Wonderful prayer, repentance. And then word of God. Yeah. But verse 38, Peter replied, repent, you see, repent. Repent, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent your sins. You see, verse 37, hear the word of God. Verse 38, they pray, repent the sins. And then the word of God, I mean, the word of God and prayer, and then, and then open the door for revival. Look at the chapter 4. Chapter 4, verse 4. <coughs> Acts chapter 4, verse 4. But many who heard the message, what kind of message? Gospel. Word of God. Many people heard the word of God, believed a number of more, more men grew to about how many? 5,000. Can you imagine? Within one hour, 5,000 people gave their life to Jesus. 2,000 years ago, how many population of Jerusalem? Anybody knows? Around 80,000. 
80,000 population in Jerusalem. How many people are born again at the time? 2,000 years ago. Among the 80,000 population, eh, how many people are Christian? Once he preaching within one or five thousand. And even chapter two, when he preached the gospel, how many people? Three thousand. Actually, historians say around the forty thousand. Forty thousand people in Jerusalem believe in the Lord Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? Great revival. And then if you look at the um, every revival place, yeah, there is the word of God. Word of God touch the people. Yeah? Even chapter 10, verse 44. Acts chapter 10, verse 44. While Peter was still speaking this word of God, the Holy Spirit came on all who hear the message. I like it. Holy Spirit come upon all the people. You know, people hear the word of God and the great revival come. I think you can pray now. Oh God. Say, this would be a good time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Amen, 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 amen. <laughs> this is now is the time, yeah. You can name the word of God and pray. I love to see the great revival in High Street of Sutton and then South London and England, UK. I love to see the revival in 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 Israel. You know, you carry the leaflet. Hundred thousand leaflet when you go to Israel. They may asking us, stop us, why you bring all these things? And then you come here as a tourist uh, to share the wonderful news, good news. Do you know how, how we preach the gospel for immigration officer, officer <coughs> in, in te te Tel Aviv? I can give you some tip. You know, when you ask a question, when they ask a question, why you come here? I say, we come for holiday. And then you can mention them. Do you know that most of European country there is a anti-Semitic rise? All of European countries. You see, now Ukraine, you know, Mr. Putin is not very happy with the Muslim, uh, no, no, Jewish people. And then most of the uh, immigration officers, Jewish officers in Tel Aviv, they are angry. Because we are Jewish people, they're hating, why, I don't know, they're so angry. Mm -hmm. And then what is your answer? But I, I love Jewish people. <laughs> and they say, uh, why? And you can say to them, because of, uh, I'm a born again Christian. My Lord and my Savior is Jews. His name is Yeshua Hamashiach. And his disciples. Lord and honor and power, we bless your name. Oh Lord, we love to see the great revival in this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Yeah.